Alright, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fishing. It's one of America's fastest growing sports, both professionally as well as recreationally. Fishing tournaments such as the Redfish Cup as well as Trout Masters has increased everyday folks' interest in fishing. They like to go fishing on the weekends, whereas the professional fishermen are out there fishing every day. Also through this course, I've learned that my fellow classmates, James as well as Michael, also share my joy of fishing. I remember one time I was out on the bay fishing, weight fishing, and my reel started to mess up on me, so I had to wade back to the boat, get in the boat, take the boat back to the boat ramp, get out of the boat, go back to my truck, get the new reel, spool it up with new line, go back to the boat ramp, get back in the boat, fire the boat back up, go back out to where I was fishing, and finally get back on the water again. As you can see, this is a time consuming process. It's much better just to have a fishing reel that, will, that you can depend on and that will work. One of the main things about fishing is you have to take care of your equipment and that includes taking care of your fishing reel. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to properly maintain a Corrado, Shimano Corrado fishing reel, a bait cast type reel. So what do you need to clean a reel with? Well obviously you need a fishing reel. This is the Shimano Corrado fishing reel. You also need break free, or excuse me, real magic fishing, uh, real lubrication, as well as a towel. And if you're fishing in salt water, I suggest a spray bar bottle with fresh water in it. This, this particular reel hadn't been used in salt water, so you don't need the uh, fresh water. Um, I suggest the real magic uh, fishing real lubrication because it is water-based, not oil-based like a WD-40 or a break-free which is used to clean guns. Uh, the reason being is that the oil attracts dirt and dust and can actually harm your reel more than it will help it. So first, you need to, if you're fishing in saltwater first, according to Texas Fish and Game magazine, you'd go ahead and take the spray bottle and spray it down with fresh water. The magazine says to do this rather than just hitting it with a hose or dropping it in a bucket because that way it can actually force the, the salt and the sand and everything else deeper into the reel which can cause more harm than good. So first you need to remove the cap by flipping this little tab up here that says lip and unscrewing and it will come right off as you can see. Next you're going to go ahead and take the spool out. Go ahead and wipe the end of the spool down. Set the spool aside. Next, go ahead and grab your can of Real Magic. Go ahead and give it a couple shakes. And you're going to hit all the moving parts inside the fishing reel. Doing your best not to over lubricate. And go ahead and wipe it down a little bit all the excess. Go ahead and spin it a couple times. Doesn't get it all worked in there. Replace the spool. And then go ahead and hit the moving parts on this side on the side of the roof. Again, wipe out the excess lubrication. Lubricant. After that, go ahead and hit the cap. Then replace the cap on the reel. Go ahead and tighten it down. Give it a couple of spins just to work that that uh, lubricant in, into the reel and go ahead and hit the gears that the guide rests on.
more times. And finally, go ahead and hit, hit the knobs just a couple times, very lightly, like so. And your reel is now properly lubricated and will provide you tremendous joy while fishing on the water and you don't have to worry about it break, uh, breaking on you or you having to go out back and replace the reel. I hope I've been uh, enlightened you on how to clean a reel and that you can go ahead and clean, clean your reel and have a great day on the water. Thanks. All right.